Scientists are building the case for the sixth extinction and they say we could be on the menu. That's right, for extinction. Okay, now we've seen five massive extinctions as far as scientists know that have happened in the history of the Earth thus far. The dinosaurs, of course, being one. We have the ice ages. There are these massive, massive global events that really, really decrease the biodiversity um, to a market degree. And um, we're seeing some of the hallmarks of another mass extinction coming right now, courtesy of global warming. Uh, we need to get our act together fast on this one, folks. All right, even conservative calculations are showing that the world is in the midst of a sixth mass extinction that's being caused by our species, which is likely to lead to humanity's demise if left unchecked. This came from a report in the journal Science Advances following up on a more of decades worth of warnings about the rapid loss of global biodiversity. Um, honeybees are just the tip of the iceberg on this one, folks, okay? Experts have said that the loss has risen to the scale during the five previous global extinction events, the most recent of which occurred 65 million years ago when the dinosaurs died off, okay? These claims are echoed in the Pulitzer Prize winning book by Elizabeth Colbert, the sixth extinction and the the results are actually very very shocking okay so here we go the extinction rate since 1990 has been 8 to 100 times higher than the expected background rate the background rate of course being your normal standard level of um, species going extinct um, all of these things are a result of humans um, our actions our meddling our you know industry, our business, our emissions, all these things are having a huge impact. Okay, There are examples of species all over the world that are essentially the walking dead. A perfect example is amphibians, which account for 7,300 of these species documented that have been particularly hard hit. Only 34 extin extinctions have been documented with a high level of certainty since 1500. Yet, more than 100 species have disappeared since 1980. Does that make sense? Okay. Last 500 years, 34 extinctions other than since the 1980s, where in the last 35 years, we're talking about more than 100 species of amphibians. Okay, so industrialization, deforestation, and a lot of other factors are causing these problems. It's not going to get any better. The bottom line is, folks, we need to do something about this. Here's another perfect example talking about centuries, right? Okay, 1500 to 1600, 54 extinctions. 1600 to 1700, 22 extinctions. 1700 to 1800, 60 extinctions. 1800 to 1900, 144 extinctions. And drum roll please, 1900 to the 2000s, almost 400 extinctions, 396. That's the number, folks. Now, I can't help but wonder whether these extinction numbers for the 1500s and on are actually accurate. One of the things we might be concerned about is whether they actually had the means to collect accurate data on this. And I don't know. I don't know the answers to that one. I'm not a scientist. I don't claim to be. But the bottom line is we are in the midst of a big problem, folks. And we need to start thinking about solutions, right? An ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. And if we're in the market for a pound of cure, we could already be too dead to do anything about it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe.